Welcome to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson. And today we are talking about Diddy. We're also talking about the Baltimore Bridge. We're also talking about Tennessee State University. And we have in the house with us veteran Memphis journalist Otis Sanford in the building. And so y'all stick around, stay. We'll be right back. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. <laughs> Back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson, and we have our wonderful co host in the building, Angelica Jelly Woods. Give it up for her. Very mad. I made it in the nick of time. Yeah, you did. And, and of course, we have our DJ. <laughs> Angelica, what the hell is DJ Kojak? Mm, Kojak and himself. Kojak. That sound, that sound right. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's, not, that's not good, y'all. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Wow. <laughs> we, we, do, we got company in the building, too. I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> yeah, let's give it up for the veteran Memphis yes. journalist himself. We're turning the cameras on him. Superstar Otis Sanford in the building. Yeah, baby, give it up for him. And Jeff, you can't clap for the man. Jeez. Oh, well, <laughs> no, we can clap <laughs> and innovation. I feel, I feel like I'm going to be critiqued. Interviewing is going to be critiqued. <laughs> Everything, content critiqued. You know, I got to be on my best behavior, okay? Yeah, yeah, we're we, we getting a chance to flip. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, up. I wish we could turn up, this camera up, right now. Up, I'm going to do my lip gloss. I'm going to do my lip gloss because he's walking up in here. Mm -hmm. Let's just look at him. Mm -hmm. And DJ Kojak in the building. <laughs> <laughs> and then lied and said he was going to go get his switchboard. Ain't got nobody hey, switchboard. Hey, 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 ain't got nothing. Look, he going he gonna to put, put the, the turntables up in the, um, in the middle of the next segment. I couldn't yeah. miss this one. Couldn't miss this right. one. Right. What? Man. Man. Right. You, you, you about <laughs> you. Know. Is that what it was? Angelica, help, me out, help me out now. Help me out. We just left the planning meeting on the patio. We was doing real well. We were. We, mm -hmm. we all left at the same time. We did. Uh -huh. We're all going to the same location. Same location. So tell me how. I, I, you know, us is when the sun comes out, mm. sometimes we just don't know how to behave. You know, a little vitamin D, 73 degrees. Oh, I'm telling you. I, I, I don't know what's going on. He ain't got none of his equipment. Uh, he's late. Mm. Uh, <laughs> he, he probably don't have any. I mean, he probably don't, he probably don't even know where on. he at. I, See, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I had to do the most. I had to get a whole little makeup, little uh, natural, and he... he Angelica, and then his phone is loud. His phone is loud. Help, help us out, Otis. What, well, what? I mean, uh, hey, look, I thrive on deadlines, so I'm always on time. Yeah, he oh, was so early. Like he is like early. I'm not trying to bust right, you out. Right. No, no you can't. Can. It's no, okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. You can, he, he can handle it. Mm -hmm. I said when he came in the studio, I was like, you're on time. I'm not used mm -hmm. to it. The set was quiet. I said, everybody's on their best behavior. I said, what I'm is going you. on? Well, I don't that, know why that was. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Hey, man. And look, and our last two guests, uh, Tammy Sawyer. Shout out to Tammy Sawyer. Hey, Tammy. Yes, What's yes, the yes. latest? <laughs> and Gail Carson came in with her heels on Tip late. On, <laughs> London. Uh, London uh -huh. came in late. Uh -huh. Fashionably late, though. Fashion. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, fashion. That's, what we call them. That's so nice. Right. Yeah, right. yeah so you're nice. very kind. Oh, you ain't got to save them. Don't, don't save them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to be saved. Nope. Right. Hey, and you know, it, it's sundress season, Angelica. I know. You mentioned it when we was on the patio. He was a little excited about it being sundress season. Well, you know, season. we all happy about sundress season. Uh, that's why Kojak is late. Uh Oh, don't get him for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, no, 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 no. You know, hey, hey, you know, it's sundress no, season. Don't feed you know? into it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, oh, did you say, yeah, yeah don't feed well, into it? Well, I mean, you, you, you got eyes, too. It, I'm a man, too. I got eyes. I mean, it don't mean you're lusting because it's sundress season. No. It just means you're, you're really? appreciative yeah. of okay. sundress season. Exactly. I am, too. I like sundress season, too. You do? You like sundress season? Just yeah. like y'all like gray sweat season. I mean, we don't. I have nothing. I don't know nothing about that. I just like to throw on a dress, be breezy, and just carefree you know and and wrinkled you're watching the antonio parkinson project
uh, you know, Diddy's in the news. Of course, you know, this is the biggest thing that's out there right now in the news. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, I, I look at it as sad and unfortunate, honestly. Yeah. You know, you have a, a, an individual that's such an icon in, in the business, mm-hmm. right, to be, you know, for us to be hearing this kind of news about him, you know, and, you know, of course, as the story goes, there's a young producer that was it mm. was in there, and and of course, mm. let's pre let's go back. You know, his his former girlfriend Cassie, you know, filed these charges, and we talked you know, about that and, too. And, we did. and it was an incredibly quick settlement for a, mm. an incredible record. amount record of money. Is mm. record record settlement. Yep, and and mm. and and then of course, you know, other people came out mm. right and started, you know, you know, making their accusations, mm. and then, but this young producer that was working in there. Uh, seventy-three page report mm. naming a lot of names. Um, is 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 pretty damning. If 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 it's true, because it's all alleged. Yeah. No, right? when you come up with seventy-three pages, that's a lot of lying. <laughs> you gotta have an art. You gotta be now. Nah, you you seventy-three pages of lies, y'all. Something even even if something's a lie, there's some truth in a lie. That's, that's There's all some I truth say. in a lie. Yeah. That's, a, that's an angelic yeah. in Okay, y'all yeah, know exactly that's what I'm saying. saying. Can we introduce, can we, can yeah. we introduce, right. can we introduce Otis? So he can, you right. get what I'm saying? Like, even when somebody tells a lie, there's a little truth in a lie. It may have been the story or the narrative may have changed a little bit, but there's some truth in a lie. Like I said, you heard what I said. Oh, she said what she said. I yeah. said what I said. Okay, that's, Thank a, that's a new one for the glossary. You know what I said? Like, truth in lies. They act like I'm talking... They act like I'm talking a foreign language, but everybody's not on that level Otis, that we are on, Mr. Otis. Otis, she's from Iowa, so it is foreign. <laughs> oh, for Iowa. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Whatever. Right, right. You're right. When she left, there were only two people that looked like her. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I can believe but that about Iowa. Right. 70 pages, y'all. That's a yeah. stretch. That, that 73 pages is a lot now. It's very exactly. detailed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's very yeah, exactly. uh, Otis, yeah. you got any thoughts well, on that? Well, well I'm, I, obviously, I have never been a big Diddy fan. I'll right. just be honest about it. Obviously, I keep up with what's going on. Right. Um, but there has been a settlement, mm-hmm. first of all. Uh, and as someone who covered federal courts and federal government mm-hmm. and FBI as mm-hmm. a reporter way back in the day, mm-hmm. Come on with the it is answer. extraordinary. If you get your place raided, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's some, they're looking for evidence mm-hmm. that they think is there and they wouldn't be going because the judge had to approve it, mm-hmm. a search mm-hmm. warrant. Um, where there's smoke, there's some fire here. Mm-hmm. And so we'll just have to wait and see what comes out of this. But um, a federal raid means that there's something going on. Thank That's a lot, you. man. That's, it's yeah. serious, man. It's oh, yeah, it's very yeah. serious. Yeah. Now, we talked about this with, with Police Director C.J. Yes. David. Are you the yes. feds or are you the police department? Yes. Two yeah. different levels. Two different levels. Right. I think they already they already have what they need. They, they already just, know what yeah, they're they looking know, for. Yeah, they know, yeah. And they just getting a little something to make it stick. Right. And they have to have, like he said, mm-hmm. you have that permission to go in there. Then The judge not going to let you go in there just on anything. Okay. Right. No, right. So for them to go in there, they got some already. And they know where to go. They don't want to hang you now. And it is called probable cause. Yeah. So they go and they they lay out to the judge a probable cause about what's going on, what they what they know or what they suspect has happened, and what they're looking for when they go in. The judge approves it. Yeah, uh, they, they, uh, Diddy is in trouble. Yeah, because some there witnesses have, have come forward, some to say mm-hmm. where the tapes are. You know, they said they went in, they found videotapes, and uh, and they're, they're, the word is allegedly there are videotapes of. Of, of people that are known in compromising situations, right? And then it's alleged that weapons were found in the, in the house. And then it's it's alleged that you know uh, an individual carrying drugs for him has been uh, arrested also. And right, yeah, yeah he got arrested at the airport. Actually. Right, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But there, but but some of the false stuff that's a lot of false stuff out there mm-hmm. also. Uh, they were saying that you know uh, Diddy was caught. Flying off to somewhere, some the island, Caribbean, yeah. right? And, and Diddy was in Miami. He was in Miami, jumping over a fence. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cursing out the, uh, yeah. you know, the feds, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's all kind of stuff, yeah. all kind of narratives out there. You know, and 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 honestly, the internet has has it, he's broken the internet, and I'm yeah. sure to Beyonce's dismay mm. because her album dropped last yeah. night. Right, I didn't stop nothing. Right. I still work to listen to the whole CD today. Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, what does it sound like? It's really good. Really, it's Beyonce. Did you have some boots on when you listened? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, okay. I had some tennis shoes on and I was typing away. Well, you didn't listen properly li- then. I was- 
listening. Hey, if she ain't had no boots on and no Daisy really? Duke and, and, and cowboy hat, cowboy hat no. she wasn't listening properly. I was listening properly. No, but, you know, a lot of people say with the Diddy, don't let, lose focus. It's a, it's an agenda because it's Easter weekend. I'm like, yo. Is that what it is? Take that, take yeah. that, take that. Mm. <laughs> uh-uh. See, I'm not about to play with you and Jesus. Man, okay. look, look, I'm not playing with Jesus. Don't even do it. Look, you see how she tried to throw me under the yeah. bus I like did. that? I did. Man, you know, but, but you know, look, look, I, you know, real talk, you know, I think it's important. We, we pray for all involved, man, yeah. you know, because, because yeah. the victims, you know, while people are Definitely. making light of this, there are, are possibly yeah. real mm-hmm. victims whose lives will be affected for a very, very long time. And it sounds like it's a lot of victims. But they didn't know they were being recorded? Hey, hey, there was some now. This dude, now they this, know how to look for a tape. I'm just hey, this dude that released the alleged tape of Diddy and Meek Mills. That is, mm. I listened to that. That is the first thing I wanted to throw up in, on my feet. Mm. 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 Man. And that was not, that was not, it's, that's it's impossible. Hard, it's hard to get it out of your head. I, I can tell you that if you listen to <laughs> mm. it. Yeah. Mr. Otis, we're gonna let you listen. I'm, to I'm just right. glad I don't <laughs> cover that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but but you know, but Nightmare you know, but that's a, that's a that's a really really big deal though. You think about how much how how much leverage he has in the industry, yeah. in the yeah. entertainment industry, of not course. just the music industry, but the entertainment industry. You know, and this this whole thing might open up and open up some secrets to to Biggie's death and mm-hmm. and some other other things that you know you know what happens oh, sure. you know the feds tap in they they open up one thing and then it leads to it just opens up trails right. you Follow know different the money. trails right. you know different pathways to other stuff right. yeah and and the fact that the, his lawyer you know came out with such a heavy-handed statement talking mm-hmm. about how this was a military style raid and and we have never seen anything. Well, yes, we have. We've seen stuff yeah. like this before. Uh, I, I think that the protesting of the lawyer tells me that there was something there because they are mounting this kind of defense oh, earlier. Yeah, to me. yeah, uh, yeah, saying that they didn't do it right. So, mm-hmm. so you're trying, yeah, trying to get. Well, well, first of all, you ain't Trump. You know, so your Trump <laughs> raid may be different than Diddy's raid. <laughs> you know, so you ain't Trump. We know. We come on now. Look, at the end of the day, man, folks forget. Right. You know that that hey, it's, it's circumstances tend to be different. Yeah. You know, depending on you know who you are, oh, what you come from, and you know so and what your stature is. Yeah. Well, he yeah. was last seen with his daughters um, today, so they were out and about like nothing was going on. But they said his narrative now is a wholesome. Family man. <laughs> well, you, hey, them handlers that's got on it quick. That's a na- mm-hmm. that's a narrative he's putting out now. So hey, I wonder what his P- his PR probably. Uh, I don't know mm-hmm. what they doing. Oh well, they apparently told crisis him. mode. Yeah, right, oh, right. Cri- yeah, I yeah. think it's beyond crisis. They mm-hmm. in a uh, oh, you know mm-hmm. I would, I would, do or die. <laughs> yeah. I would guarantee you there are some new mm-hmm. PR people on the case now that's been hired. Some yes. of the best crisis. There should manager. be some yeah. crisis managers, right? Yeah. Where's Kerry yeah. Washington at? Speaking of crisis, uh, Tennessee State University is in the news, right? Because uh, just yesterday they uh, uh, vacated the entire board the entire. of the one and only um, HBCU yeah. land grant institution in the state of Tennessee, mm. and um, and and there was a lot of conversation about that, and and um, you know, uh, you know, there's there's, I think there's more that's going to come out, uh, in regards to Tennessee State University's board being vacated, and that, and that's a big deal. That's a really really big deal because you know you're talking about wiping out the entire governing board of a university of, of one of our most, one of our own, one of two land grant institutions um, and, and, and rewiping their board in the middle mm. of the presidential search. Mm. Right. On what grounds? Right. Yeah. So, 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 you know, court, so here, here's the backstory, right? Uh, uh, there was a, um, uh, a committee commissioned by the speaker of the house, Cameron Sexton, to find out because there were accusations saying that Tennessee state university has not received the fair amount of money that they were supposed to be receiving based on federal law, right? right? Federal law back from, I think 1912 or somewhere back then said that uh, the feds would send money to university of Tennessee and Tennessee state university university of Tennessee was supposed to get 75 cents on the dollar TSU uh, 25 cents on the dollar. Right. That's something in itself. But anyway, yeah, we don't right. talk about that. Right. But but since 1912, 
University uh, Tennessee State, well, University of Tennessee has been receiving all of their money, mm-hmm. plus some, right? right. And yeah. Tennessee State University hadn't been receiving any of it or very, very little mm-hmm. for all of those years. So the the amount of money uh, that came out of this commission, now keep in mind, there are two two different pots of money that's saying, that's, they're saying Tennessee State University is old. But the amount of money that came out of this state commissioned uh, report said $544 million or a half a billion dollars mm-hmm. owed to Tennessee State University. Mm-hmm. Well, here's what's interesting. Uh, two years ago, uh, the state of Tennessee the governor, he signed signed the budget and and we, we passed the budget that put $250 million into Tennessee State's coffers. Right. And that's when the fight began. Uh-oh. So it wasn't until after that $250 million was allocated mm. that all of these audits were commissioned and all of a sudden they start finding all of this wrongdoing oh, once that $250 million went into Tennessee State University's mm. hands. And, then, and, 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 and watch this. It's been five state commissioned audits one of them the last of which was budgeted for two million dollars let me say that again for the an state, audit for an audit the state mm, put audit up two million dollars whoa to audit the black hbcu because they were looking for something criminal and there was nothing criminal found right. oh wow and so now they that audit dropped yesterday Mm. No one was talking about really talking about the findings of the audit because there was no criminal stuff found. Now there were some mistakes found, you know, yeah. but but this is like, you know, operational. You didn't have a policy. You for can this, make honest mistakes. This, that, Everything I mean, is you, not intentional. Listen, let me tell you something. If you if you spend two million dollars on an audit, I don't give a damn how good you are. You're gonna find some mistakes. Yeah. Of course. Two yeah. million dollars. Of course. Right. Two, you, you hear me? Yeah. Two million dollars. You, you better they, find some they, mistakes. They, it, it was, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I we better find find them. We paid, but I'm fine. over. And I may have these numbers wrong. Over eight thousand emails searched. I mean, going through mm. over twenty thousand documents. You know, going through. I mean, this is a straight up forensic audit of this HBCU. And University of Tennessee has never gone through anything like that. Mm. University of Tennessee had their board vacated one time, but it was because the governor was changing the structure of all of the universities, mm. and he vacated the board because UT wanted him to. Mm-hmm. And then they quickly put it back in order. Mm-hmm. But it's, this treatment has never been done to any any other university in the state of Tennessee, wow. and it's and it's, it's it's incredibly disparate in in in, in what it what it appears. Yeah, I, I just I just think it's total overreach. First of all, uh, and you have to look at the specter of race here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw a quote from one of your mm-hmm. Republican colleagues complaining about uh, money that was given to Tennessee State, uh, and they use it for excessive scholarships Mm. uh, Mm. and to the point where they didn't have dorm rooms for Mm -hmm. students, and and so they were putting students in hotels. Mm -hmm. He was complaining about it. Right, right. But UT did the same thing. Right. UT had students in hotels. Right. That's right, right? That's, that's absolutely I'm, right. So, Painted it orange and called it the Volunteer Inn. Uh, right. 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 Mm. right. Mm. So, so the I same mean. Same time, too, at the same exact oh, time. Oh, I didn't realize it was yes, at the same, same time. same exact time. But they don't say anything about that. Right. So, I, I, I just, this is another example of a legislature. And God knows I have been really tough on this legislature. Right. This is another example of this legislature being so, a kind word is heavy handed, mm-hmm. but yeah. a bad word here is just being plain out racist. And me. Use the bad word. Yeah. Use the bad word. So that's, that's, yeah. that's what I see yeah. here. And not just on this Tennessee State thing, but on a host of things. Mm-hmm. They have a takeover mentality mm-hmm. on everything. They want to mm-hmm. take over. They want to run it. They they did the same thing with Nashville. Yeah. They did. They trying to do the same thing with Memphis. Uh, they did the same thing with uh, well a whole host of things. Yeah. So that's I just have no real respect, unfortunately, for the Republican controlled legislature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I'm know, not talking yeah, about everybody. Now. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. yeah, and absolutely because it could because everybody there are some good members mm-hmm. on the Republican side of the Tennessee legislature. There actually are. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but 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 it's interesting because, you know, it, it, 
the worst thing, the what they hate most is being called racist. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, are you oh, sure? They, they you, can't you, stand that. Oh man, you think you set somebody's grandmother on fire, right? <laughs> you know, but but he, but here's the thing, and and I and I'm I'm all, I try to be careful, not to say that because I don't want my mic cut off, right? You know, but but okay, let's not call you racist, mm. but let's talk about the disparate treatment, the differences in how you treat one entity that's doing the same exact thing mm -hmm. as the other entity. Mm -hmm. Right. We won't. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with, with no, no broke. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. 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 Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Definitely. And so and so that's and that's unfortunate. It's, it's so sad that's, that that we're we're even having this this conversation because the and and I and I had a conversation with with the speaker who I'm, who I'm friends with right. You know, uh, today, you know, and 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 just reiterated to him that we cannot have a, a real legitimate conversation about Tennessee State University and their 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 misgivings or their missteps or their shortcomings without having the conversation about the fact that they it's five hundred forty four million dollars missing from you. <laughs> that that y'all did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all making I mean, mistakes. Y'all got mishaps. I mean, I mean if 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 <laughs> if, if five hundred forty four million dollars was in there, yeah. we wouldn't have a housing crisis. Yeah. If 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 well, well, maybe we would because UT's getting all of their money. They still got a housing crisis. Mm, true. Right. And if but if five hundred forty four million dollars was in there, we wouldn't be talking about uh, an issue with a policy because maybe they can hire the person to get the policy done. Yeah. You know, you got a you got a, a, a HBCU Otis that has been robbing Peter to pay Paul. For for decades, mm -hmm. so so you you squeeze the money out of them and then you blame them for not being perfect. Right, mm -hmm. right. That's that's exactly. And they're not what perfect. They're not right. perfect. So well, how I mean, all money? all universities, you know, as big as they can be, mm -hmm. um, they have issues they have to deal with. Right. Certainly, UT is no different. Right. I imagine that Middle Tennessee State is no different. I I know the University of Memphis has uh, financial issues itself. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they are making Tennessee State a public example here right. in a very unfair way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I understand your reluctance to use the racism term because, I mean, you you still got to deal with them. Right, right. I don't have to deal with them. Right, mm -hmm. right. And You're so right. I, I, I will call it like I call it. Uh, and this has a very strong stench of racism on it. Uh, and that's the way I see it. And 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 I don't disagree with you now. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. I've called him racist many times. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> in fact, in fact, I'm on the video. He called us. I mean, on the on the secret recording, he called us racist. He's not our friend. I'm on. They they were talking about Antonio Parkinson, okay. right? But but you know, but 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 here's the thing. Here's what I've learned about you know. It, 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 it tends to lump everybody in the same boat, right? Now, from coming from me, now I ain't talking about you now. Yeah, coming from me, it tends to lump everybody that's on the Republican side in the same boat, and that's just absolutely not the case. Because I, I was calling some of the names when I was speaking on uh, Tennessee State University yesterday, talking about the Sam Whitsons and you know some of these other folks that I know are good people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but they cut me off from calling the names, right? Because I was moving them boats over when I was calling the names. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. The speaker, like, hey, uh, Representative Parkinson, you can't call names. All right, I said, okay. So, how, how many how many Republicans voted against it in the House? You know, you uh, know? The, the majority of them did, but we we pulled over about five, five, five okay. of them, five of mm -hmm. them that that you know uh, voted. Here's the interesting thing, y'all. This is something that that I think the public should know. Most of the time, in in a lot of these cases. The majority of them folks don't even be knowing what what we're talking about. I believe really. it. I mean, and, and, and seriously, they're just going with their partisan yeah. oh, direction, yeah, sure. directive, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, I believe yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, so they're they're going. Same with thing the happens direction. in Congress. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. That's scary, right. and that's scary. They making decisions <laughs> yeah. for people's lives, and all you know what's going mm -hmm. on. You're absolutely right, Angela. Yeah, it affects scary. it affects yeah. everyone's lives. You know, but but you know, you look at some of them bills in Congress, bro. Man, I don't even, man. It, it'd be so convoluted. Right. I don't know how anybody. Keep up with what's in the bill, yeah. man. You got a yeah. bill that says dog food is going to be ten percent off, and 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 yet, you know, we're going to legalize marijuana, and we're going to do this, <laughs> that, you know, gun control, and this, that, another, all in the same bill. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're they're a little bit different. Ours, <laughs> ours don't work that way, but because we got to fit inside the caption. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but look, we're we're going we're to come back, man. We're going to talk about the the mayor of Baltimore. We're going to talk about the bridge uh, collapse in Baltimore. 
and the fact that there was an individual who's famous now because he said, "Here is your DEI mayor of Baltimore," mm. and so we're gonna we're gonna break down what DEI means when mm. when we come back. So you, we'll be right back. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. They watching me and you together, pull the pin forever. Plus we were lit together, pop out magic Gucci sweater. They want they can tell it, know when they see us they jelly. I took you through some, shit, but you still got me through whatever. I can't answer why you won't leave. You think he better than me? No, I can't be too screen. Can't find no better than me. Mama told me say what I love. My bro say let her just be. I can't keep going back and forth. I said just let her go free. Cause if you stay this go on and on and on, yeah. trying to tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. Cause I did not make it home. What's up, y'all? It's Senator London Lamar, and you're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson, and I'm here with my lovely co-host, Angelica Jelly Woods. Yeah. Hey, I was sneezing. The, the pollen in the air is strong, too. And you know, Nichelle's going to catch that sneeze if you are sneezing. <sighs> Look, nah, she on her phone. She don't catch she, it. She, oh, okay. She's slipping. She don't catch it. DJ Kojak in the building. Finally, yeah, scratch yeah, it up for him four times, Kojak. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Otis, you did hear that scratch, did you? I heard it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard look, it. man, he catches on quick. I got it. That's what I'm talking uh, about, man. <laughs> Otis Sanford in the building. Y'all give it up for him. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. We're excited, man. Look, first of all, thank you. I don't even know if I say it on the phone. Man, it's, it's the Mountain Dew that we're drinking. Angelica drinks Mountain Dew too. Oh, now, okay. now I have something to say, Mr. Otis. Now yeah. you're in the studio, and you're an honest man. Do you see me drinking anything besides water? Uh, no. I Thank you. Not. All right, we do. We get that. Can we please hey, clip hey, that? Hey, 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 Otis, Can that, we please that, clip that? On the, on the he, cutting room floor. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna clip it. See, they don't see. Thank you. Call it like I see it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Otis. Hey, Otis, this is this is one time. The okay, one time. See. That's because she had a... Uh, had a what? <laughs> you can say it. What, what I had? What she had? What was that at, at lunch today, Koja? Man. I, what did you, he what don't did even you know. know. Tropical. Trop, tropical. Uh, Long Island. Yeah. Oh. No, I had, it was more of a mocktail. Okay. Crickets. It was. It's, they, just, they just can't. They cannot stand it. It's okay. It's okay. But, oh, my know, looks. We appreciate Polly Pure Heart because she. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, it's the strangest thing happened, right? Mm, yeah. You know, we all woke up to this news mm -hmm. that a boat, cargo boat, ran into the bridge in Baltimore, mm -hmm. and then we watched the bridge collapse. Mm. That's scary. Water. That's scary. It on television. Right. With yeah. cars on the bridge. Yeah. And workers on the bridge. Scary. Right. Unbelievable, but 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 how? What what? Just you know, of course, a side of the lives right that are being affected. The fact that that bridge went down so easily right. is scary, and you it got is. people driving across this bridge every single day. Yes, oh, thousands of people, thousands of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes to show, you know, that that our infrastructure in our in, our, in the country is, is dilapidated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So what? Give me some thoughts on that. Jump in there. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead first. Okay. Well, I mean, that, there's so much to talk about yeah. with this. First of all, yeah, you talk about the infrastructure needs. We mm -hmm. certainly have that. Right. Um, we had one of the biggest cargo ships around mm -hmm. that was heavily laden with stuff mm -hmm. um, that lost steering, it lost power, it lost everything, um, and it was heading directly for that, that pillar. Mm -hmm. But there are some, some positive things to take out of this. First of all, they saw what was happening and they did a mayday. Mm -hmm. mm. They, 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 ra they radioed people and it just so happened that they, they did it just in just enough time mm -hmm. to get the local police mm -hmm. to close off both sections of the, <clears throat> of the, of the bridge. Okay. Uh, this, is, yeah. this is Interstate yeah. 695, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Uh, and so there were fewer cars on there. Of course, this was 1.30 in the morning or sometime mm -hmm. like that. And so there would have been fewer cars, but there were a lot fewer cars because of the police uh, yeah. interaction here. Yeah. The sad thing about this is, again, the loss of life. You had six people, six men who were working on the bridge, filling potholes, who perished. Mm -hmm. And it can't be lost on me, Antonio. Mm -hmm. And I brought this up uh, in, in my television stuff over the weekend. Mm -hmm. It's not lost on me that every one of those workers were immigrants. Oh, I was mm. Every one of them were immigrants.
uh, they've been in the country a long time. You know, they're from Guatemala, Mexico, and mm-hmm. places like that. <laughs> but they they are doing the work, filling mm-hmm. potholes in the middle of the night to keep everybody else safe. Mm. But they were immigrants, mm. and I can't help going back to uh, your legislature. Oh, go on, go on back. Go Just on back. an hour or two before this happened, the state senate passed this bill that basically forces um, the yeah. local police to help round up immigrants yeah. and yeah. kick them out of the country. Yeah. So, I, again, that's an, that's an aside to this, but I couldn't help but say that. Yeah. Let me say one other quick thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, the positives also were that the mayor, and you're going to talk about mm-hmm. the mayor, and the governor, mm-hmm. the governor, his name is Wes Moore, yeah. he has performed tremendously, uh, galvanizing the resources and getting everybody together mm-hmm to address this issue. Mm. And you have to give credit to the White House and the Biden administration too for jumping right in because this is this port is the biggest, one of the biggest, if not the biggest port in America for shipping cars and other things, trucks out of the in and out of the country. Yeah, let's talk about that. $191 million per day in economic development coming through this port. It's been halted now mm. because this bridge is causing the traffic not to be able to go through there. But let me say that again. $191 million per day. day. Mm-hmm. That's that's stopped. That's halted right now. Right. And 8,000 jobs. Right. 8,000 jobs at that port. Mm-hmm. Good paying jobs, Good too, because we're talking longshoremen here. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so so this is a major, major catastrophe. Angelica. Now, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Don't talk about me. Is it one of those bridges that move? Uh, like no. a drawbridge, no. Yeah, okay. No, no. no okay, no, no. I wasn't. I was this is kind of like, 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 like our old bridge. Yeah, okay. That's it's like our old Matter of fact, it kind of looked like our old yeah, okay. I thought it was. The, the, when the I first bridge. Bridge. <laughs> you thought you. it was our bridge for a while. Wait a minute. So. I was making sure it was. Because they do yeah, have right? a bridge that right. moved where they pass through. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was no, one of those. No, it wasn't a drawbridge. And there was somebody driving the boat, correct? Well, I mean, well, actually, they had a local pot. They had a local pilot who helps. Uh, uh, ships like this navigate out of the channel, mm-hmm. but this was this is an international ship, right? Uh, based in some other country, I can't remember where it where it uh, came from. But they were heading to like I think Sri Lanka or so, something, yeah, yeah, like, somewhere, yeah, like somewhere, that. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But which I ain't a comp- conspiracy theorist, mm-hmm. but. Well, <laughs> no, I, no, I, uh-uh, we don't have no conspiracy with you. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. But, but as, as another side note, you know, you can go down so many pathways with this, right? So, you know, there, there's an individual, he's famous on Twitter now. He wasn't before, but he is now. You know, he, he, he figured he, you know, I guess he wanted to be famous, right? So he <laughs> no. says... He take he screenshots the the mayor of Baltimore, who's a young brother, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. um and uh, shout out to the mayor of Baltimore, and right. and he says, "Here is your DEI mayor of Baltimore." Mm. So so y'all know y'all everybody know what DEI is. No, yeah. we can act like we don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say no <laughs> for the people who okay. don't know. Diversity, equity, <laughs> and inclusion. Okay. I know so, what I meant, but I'm so trying to So what they're listening. saying is, right, <laughs> well, for, for the public. Yeah, we can't public. assume. Yeah. Right, yeah, for know. the public. And so so he was saying, here is your diversity, equity, and inclusion mayor. Yeah. Be, basically saying that he's only the mayor because of yeah. DEI, right? Mm-hmm. And so that apparently has become the new buzzword for the N-word. Mm. Mm. So without saying the N-word. Mm. Yeah. And, and, he, and Twitter is lit up because of the statement that was made by this individual. Mm. Come on, y'all. But could he be lying? He, he might have been hired to check a box. That doesn't, that doesn't have, that doesn't, that, that, he, that, he, well, that he is. was elected. elected. He was I'm elected. Just, okay. or, yeah. He could have been, let me, let me go, let me go around. <laughs> How yeah. he got there in the first place, I guess. They do factor, mm-hmm. right? They do. They, they, they think of diversity. Yeah. I'm not saying that yeah, it's they're right. Coming they're coming after you. They're coming after you. Okay, I'm done because he's going to clip. <laughs> That's all he's going to clip. He ain't going to set I'm me not up. Clip you, Angelica. Yes, yeah. but you get what I'm saying? Like, some people do let people run 
or endorse people based on saying, okay, let's just throw them in there so there's diversity. Right, that's, that's a really bad Let's point. just throw them in there just to say we're being equal. You that's know, a, we're doing this. I'm from Iowa. Yes, they, they do a lot of things to check box, give money just so they can check a box. I'm right. just, we're I'm just being Iowa. honest. Of course we elect black folks just because <laughs> yeah, they're Yeah, they black. might. They do. <laughs> or let them go to school. Yeah, I went to University of Iowa. My grades were not the best, but I knew that I was going to get a pass because I was black and they needed to check a box. I'm just being honest. I did that. Uh, you, you know, that's, that's a, actually a very valid point. So I, I did. So, get, yeah, yeah, thank you. you See, I look at me crazy, yeah, but that's right, true. You know, but 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 he, he the mayor, the mayor, that, that young brother is smart. Very, mm -hmm. very smart young brother. He he flipped that DEI and, and called it, yes, the duly elected incumbent. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love yeah, that yes, comeback. Yes. I love that. Yes, yeah, that was quick. But that yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. But that that's apparently um, you know, the new uh mm. word for mm. you know, without saying it, you know. Mm. So no, you're not gonna say it. We'll be hearing it a lot now. Right. Uh-uh. Right. We better not. I, I was thinking about getting me a t-shirt that said DEI representative. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Duly elected <laughs> incumbent. incumbent. I right. love that. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Shout out to the mayor of Baltimore, man. We're yeah. praying with the, with all of the families and, yes. and the citizens of Baltimore. I got yeah. a niece that's in Baltimore. Shout yeah. out to my niece, Tiffany Stripling. Mm -hmm. And my one of my favorite cousins and mentor. His name is Otis, too. Oh, yeah, okay. We call him OD. So shout out to everybody. You know, first thing I did was checked on them. You know, you check on your folks now, man. Oh, you yeah. never know, man. Yeah. With yeah. all these things that are happening. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's a that's a, that's <laughs> a really, really, really big deal. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. 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 You know, and speaking of big deals, you, uh, you like how I do these segues? Nah, you do like a great job. Man. Don't tell, <laughs> do not tell him that old. Speaking okay. of big deals, I think it's $1.3 billion in the lottery win or somewhere oh, close to yeah. that. Yeah. $1.3 billion with mm. the B, y'all. Mm. And mm. somebody won it. Was it Did out they? of New Jersey? Out of New Jersey. Mm. Yep. Oh, did you play the lottery? Um, every now and then, mm -hmm. but I didn't play it this time and I hadn't played it in a while because when I look at the odds of being one in quintillion, I mm. just say, no. <laughs> yeah, forget it. it. Tell that to that dude in Jersey. <laughs> well, that's right. 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 I agree. Bill, right. I wonder after tax, <clears throat> how much he still would take home. I know it's oh, still uh, ridiculous, but. Yeah. Yeah, he living. I, right, that yeah. whoever it is. Whoever it is. Uh, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be like, can, you, can I be anonymous, put a mask on my head, because people are going to let me come and beg, and I already know. <laughs> you, you know I already call myself your cousin, so don't, don't ask <laughs> no, that. No, yeah. right, they're going to be coming, no. Right, right, and I, I think, I don't know if New Jersey is one of them places that you have to identify yourself. Right, or, I don't know either. Or, or if you, you, you is know. Tennessee? I have no idea. Nobody from Tennessee wins. Well, no, so right. Not that kind of money. Never? Right. <laughs> no, they not do, that kind of money. But I'm not, you know, not that. Ain't nobody gonna win 1.3 billion, you know. Win. <laughs> no, really? No, nah, no. Nah. They hadn't yet. I don't know. You gotta have East Coast accent or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or live in Northern California somewhere to, to win like that. So, Sounds good. Yeah. But look, but speaking of which, okay, so let's say, you know, our people, you know, we, us, is, you know, we, we win the lottery, right? Because Five things black people do when they win the lottery. Come on. Ooh. Five things. Five things. Only us now. Come on, we now. Do. Okay. We Not you, Otis. We're going to put a disclaimer. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. You're just throwing it out there. Five things that people do. Yeah, give me one. Just give me one. No, but, not people, black people. Buy the uh, most expensive car that you can find. Yeah, yeah. But that's very true. Yeah. Very yep. true. Yep. Very yep. true. That's one. Buy that's one. And buy their mama a house. And buy buy their mama. Buy their mama. Yeah. Okay. 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 DJ Kojak, five things black folks do when they win the lottery. Open a record label. Man, uh -oh. open a record. Open a record label. Yes. Is it really? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, what I, uh, yes. I didn't realize All that. in the video. Thank you, Thank you Otis. You, see, I've been missing you. Nah, they be oh, acting like oh. I'm just... Speaking of Diddy, right? All in the video. <laughs> take that. Take man. that. Right. <laughs> open a record label for what? Man, look, look. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Another thing is, you know, you know they, they, they have a party. Oh, yeah. Party, 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 right? They ain't gonna party. They're gonna have a party and, and, and floss and flex in front of all the folks in the hood. No question. Mm -hmm. Right. Nobody said paid right. off no debt, but okay. No, right. Ain't, ain't paid nothing yet. <laughs> you pay your student loans <laughs> back. Man. What about take a take a trip and take everybody you like with you? Man, yeah. pay for oh, everybody yeah. trip. Pay for Ball everybody. Buy everybody a chain. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Maybe yeah. a cruise. Put your folks on. If they go on cruises. Yep. Yep. Give them some businesses, right. you know, put them yeah. on. You're going to put somebody on. Some money. Mm -hmm. Give all Give your all friends your some, some money, your yeah. little buddy some yeah. money. Yeah. What should they do? What's Man, five the, things they should do? Get a financial person for their portfolio. Get yes, a portfolio. Indeed. Yes, indeed. What's, give me one that they should do. Invest. Yeah. Start okay. investing. Start investing. Absolutely. Is, is that one of the first things they should do? 
They don't well, get mad. I mean, it's one tithe. of the good. If mm-hmm. we're talking about good things, that's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah, good yeah, things. Yeah, you so you know, about. interesting. You know, we, we talked about this in another episode. Mm-hmm. Talked about a framework to understanding poverty, right? Uh, mm-hmm. By Dr. Ruby Payne, mm-hmm. and and she talks about that, right? And 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 was it rich dad, poor dad? Mm-hmm. One of them talked about that in the book too. About you know, you get an individual that that wins the lottery, and then within a year they are in worse debt than they were before they right. won these millions. Richest man in Babylon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
uh, the election of Harold mm -hmm. Ford mm -hmm. first uh, to Congress in 1974. Mm -hmm. It covers uh, certainly the assassination of Dr. King in 68 mm -hmm. and how that change started to change the population of Memphis mm -hmm. uh, that allowed Dr. Harrington to be elected in 1991 because the demographics changed. Explain that. I, I, let me pause you right there. Explain okay. how... Two, two, two questions okay. off the top for me. Uh, sure. One... What's the difference in the leadership styles between Boss Crump and Willie Harrington? Right. Mm -hmm. Number two, how did the, the death of Martin Luther King change the demographics in Memphis? Well, all right. The Actually, and Dr. Harrington wouldn't like me saying this, but there are little similarities mm -hmm. uh -huh. between okay. Boss Crump and Willie Harrington in that both were very sure of themselves, mm -hmm. had a touch of arrogance about them. Uh, but... Boss Crump saw African Americans as someone, uh, as as people, to to you know that he could use to stay in power, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he would not have been in power had it not been for black folks voting for mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of reasons why mm -hmm. black people voted for Boss Crump and his candidates. And give, give, us, give us some of that, because I want to hear well, that. Come well, on. well, I'll give you one quick yeah, yeah. example. They got to get <laughs> well, the book the now. They can't give you everything. Right, right. Oh, they're yeah. going to buy this book after they this. Well, they're buy, well, well there's, book one, the there's, one, <laughs> there's one incident mm -hmm. that I think helps define just how uh, Boss Crump was able to get black voters. Mm -hmm. And it happened back in 1914. Mm -hmm. Black people could not go to the city parks. Mm -hmm. They were not allowed. <clears throat> they had their own park, Church Park. Mm -hmm. And what year is this again? This is 1914. 1914, okay. Uh, Doc, uh, Boss Crump was the mayor at that mm -hmm. time. Uh, and black folks could not go to any other parks except Church Park down on Beale Street. Mm -hmm. That was started by Robert Church. Man, I bet the Church Park was live back then. Oh, it was. Yeah. It was, was jumping. Yeah. If we had to go there, yeah. ooh, Church oh, Park yeah. would have to It jumping. was jumping. Right. But black folks wanted, you know, they were paying taxes like everybody else. Mm -hmm. They wanted their own park. Mm -hmm. Well, the City Park Commission, run by a guy named Robert Galloway, and you know the name Galloway around yeah, here, yeah. Galloway Park, yeah. Galloway Golf Course. Yeah. It's named after Robert Galloway. Really? Okay. Yeah. He was the okay. Park Commission chairman. He said, no, black folks don't need a park. All you're going to do is get out there and frolic and run around. You don't need mm -hmm. a park. <laughs> Boss Crump says, they, if they want a park, let's give them a park. And he said, no, we're going to give black folks a park. Mm. Now, the park was in Douglas. Oh. It Look was Douglas was Park. Uh, wow. Now, back back then, <laughs> Douglas was way out of the city. Though. Right. And okay. you had to go by buckboard and all kind of ways to get there. Yeah. It was way out in the middle of yeah. nowhere back in yeah. 1914. But black people were so happy to get that park. Man, Douglas Park. That, that no endeared thing. them to Boss Crump. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Project, 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 project. Douglas was Park first. was the very first park for African Americans in in what became the city of Memphis. My God, okay, I wasn't well, even in the park, city. That, that, that made Juneteenth. You know yeah. <laughs> that made Juneteenth even because you know Juneteenth. Yeah, was that yeah, that's where it started. Long it. Long it's where it started. It's, where it started. it's still there. You know, oh yeah, Juneteenth. Yeah, oh, yeah. And yeah. That, yeah. That, 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 that was yeah. one of the reasons why. If you yeah. go and talk yeah. to people who were yeah. at the beginning of Juneteenth, wow. right. they'll probably tell you that, that they knew that uh, it had that kind of historical yeah. value to wow. it. That but that incredible. was just one. That's just one mm -hmm. of the things that Boss Crump did to endear himself to to, to black people. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, Dr. Harrington. You know. Black folks had always wanted a seat at the table. Right. Always wanted to have some voice in government. Just to be appointed to boards and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But white folks said, no, mm. we're not going to do that. Uh, and it was it, the 1990 census. You were asking me uh, about Dr. Yeah, King. I just got Dr. Here. King's mm -hmm. death. Uh, white people left the city. Oh, okay. In droves. That's okay. why we have Collierville. Right. So right. that's why we have Bartlett, Germantown, and certainly DeSoto County mm -hmm. started to grow. White folks left the city of Memphis and went to those places. Mm -hmm. The demographics changed and flipped in 1990. That was the first year that black folks made up a majority of the city. Okay. Yeah, I just got here. I, I was wondering. So you were just getting here? Okay. I literally just, just moved to Memphis. Well, it was 1990, 1990 census that vote. did it. My first vote was for Dr. Harrington. And that's Memphis. why black folks said, this is mm. our chance. Mm. And Dr. Harrington is our guy. Right. Because, of, uh, you know, he, you probably know that it took a, 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 
a real protest to get him to be superintendent. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. They yeah, were not yeah. going to give him the superintendent mm -hmm. because the six whites on the school board wanted somebody from Gross Point, Michigan. Wow. And and the black folks stood up and said, no, Dr. Harrington is our man. Right. He's the deputy superintendent. He's been groomed for the job. Right. The white guy from Gross Point said, I don't want the job. Right. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to come hey, back. Hey, and history repeats itself. You remember they tried to do the same yeah. thing with Rhonda Logan. There you for, go. With her appointment, bring a bring a, a white guy in from Mississippi to be the city council person for Raleigh. That's exactly oh, right. For Raleigh. That's exactly knew, right. Yeah, they should, That's they should exactly know. Exactly right. They should right. know. Exactly right. That's exactly and, right. And, 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 and it's such a such a such a a, a, a gross, um, blatant attempt, right? It was. I mean, seriously. It was. And, and you know, and 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 you know, Angelica, she's she's just like myself. She's a uh, um, uh, an import, right? From, okay, right to, to, to Memphis, and um, you know, uh, she may not be aware, and and a lot of people, especially you know, the, these newer audience, might not be aware of everything that happened on election night. For Dr. Harrington. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Is, that, is, that, is, that, is that in the book? Nah, people who fit Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the last, last chapter, the last uh, chapter is called The Election. Right. Uh -huh. okay. okay. That's when the book ends. Yeah. Okay. It ends with the election okay. of Dr. Harrington, who won only about 172 votes. To over Dick Hackett. Over Dick oh, Hackett. Right. Right. Hackett. It was, no a, it was the closest was election. <laughs> it was the closest election since Boss Crump's very first election in 1909. Wow. He won by 27 votes. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> but but on election night, um, you know, it was it was nip and tuck. Uh Harold Ford was he, he, you know, you can say what you want about the relationship that they have had over the years. Right. But he was, was all in Dr. Har Harrington's corner then. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And he helped get the vote out on election night. He showed up at the uh, election commission saying What's, what's what's going on here with these votes? Why right. are you taking so long? I mean, he caused a big stir. Right. Uh, O.C. Pleasance was the election like the commissioner. Uh, commissioner. Mm -hmm. And when he started tallying up things and he, he announced, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new mayor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. There were some ballots now. And, there were. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and, and again, it was yeah. 172 vote difference. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing that's in the book. Uh, uh, the incumbent mayor at that time, mm -hmm. Dick Hackett, his people wanted him to challenge it because it was so close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He decided not to challenge, mm. and he never said why mm. until he told me why for the book. Oh, well, now oh. we got to read. So the book. now you got to read. Now, the book. That's, <laughs> the ultimate, that's the ultimate cliffhanger. Okay, I thought that's Parks right. was he, mad he, at he, now. Yeah, he, he told me. <laughs> why. I want to know why. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's big, man. That's but awesome. you know, but that you 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 have it's it's interesting, Otis, and too. And I want to pair you with DJ Spanish Fly and some others because your ability to 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 pull that history right is, mm. is, is so vitally important. But what 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 we're missing right now, we we talked about this on the show, right? Mm -hmm. Is that we need to pull that music history too mm -hmm. all the way up to this point. So there's an idea for you, and I want to plug you with the, with with the right people so that we can capture it before yeah. these people are not with us anymore. Yeah. Right. You know, because right. it's right. you know the the dynamic music history of Memphis changed the entire game, especially oh. in hip hop oh, and rap. Yeah, okay. yeah you know, yeah. and and it's a yeah. it's a different animal now. Yeah. But this is this is awesome. I can't wait. I cannot yeah. wait to get in it from Boss Crump to yeah. King Willie. King Willie, awesome. written by Otis Sanford. We're gonna we're gonna make it best sell again. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So y'all make sure y'all y'all make sure y'all get that and look for the audio version because we're gonna push them on this audio <laughs> version. Yeah. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. You know, I'm I'm a big history person, right? Oh, I am yeah. a big, big Me history. Too. I love history, right? Good. And that's one of the things that I, I I tell my colleagues up there in 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 the, in the state legislature. You know, they say they say, you know, all of the 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 you know Confederate symbolism is about history, and it is. There's there it's about some history, right? It, it's, and it's about a bad history, right? Right? You know, in 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 our country, but. But it's but it uh, you know nonetheless it's a dynamic history mm -hmm. of our country right there's a book I read and uh, called White Trash Four Hundred Years of Classism in America did you read that book I haven't read it you got man I, I will buy it for you you got to read that <laughs> book man so it it take you it takes you all the way from George Washington mm -hmm. what well, the colonial days mm -hmm. right all the way up to Obama and it's it's an it's so interesting our patterns uh, culturally or nationally right 
Um, and 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 it's and and then you got your patterns, you know, you know, state, local, and then and even in your household, right? But our patterns culturally as a nation have mm. not changed, mm. right? It's the same cyclic. Uh, you know, set of circumstances that perpetuates itself for generations. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Did you see that, or or some form of that in in the oh, book yeah. as you were oh, as you yeah. were oh, yeah. doing your homework for the book? Oh, absolutely. I saw it because I mean the book traces. Uh, it actually goes back to at the end of the Civil War uh, mm. with the uh, uh, Memphis Massacre. Oh, because yeah. that yeah. had a major impact right mm. on yeah. on the city. Mm. Then we go from there to. Um, what happened at the People's Grocery when Ida B. Wells mm -hmm. was yes. here and they lynched her friends from mm -hmm. the People's yeah. Grocery. And that, mm -hmm. you know, that so all the things that happened in the city, terrible things, mm -hmm. still did not prevent black folks from coming here mm -hmm. and wanting to live in the city, mm -hmm. coming from the plantations, the, mm -hmm. one who's, the ones who didn't go to Chicago, St. Louis, Detroit, Cleveland, and Milwaukee, mm -hmm. they stopped in Memphis. Mm -hmm. Cause they could have a good time down on Bill Street if nothing else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and that continued, that perpetuated itself, continuing yeah. on and on and on to the point. And, and, and Memphis had a lot of black wealth. Yeah. Or yeah. certainly uh, a strong black middle class, mm -hmm. starting with the church family. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't just them. They had black doctors. They had black lawyers. They had black dentists. They had mm -hmm. other black business owners. Mm -hmm. And so Memphis was never this hotbed of pure uh, 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 unrest mm -hmm. until, um, well, until Dr. King's assassination, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. But but the young people at the schools, mm -hmm. Lemoyne College and yeah. Owen Junior College, mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. they were the first ones to say, we want our rights. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're going to sit in for mm -hmm. our rights. And they got arrested for it. Right. And that, again, that's part of this uh, a cyclical thing that you were talking about mm -hmm. with Black white folks saying, "Look, I'm getting out of the city. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all, y'all, y'all trying to get equality here, mm -hmm. and I don't want to have anything to do with that." God forbid we do that. So, That's God right. forbid we right. do that. So I'm going to Collierville. Mm -hmm. I'm going to South Haven. I'm mm -hmm. going to Olive Branch, and y'all can have it. Right. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't mind having it. But well, inter right. Right. <laughs> Interesting point that that you raised though about you know the successes of of the businesses that were that were mm -hmm. in 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 the city at the time right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and 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 you know and and but at the time now let, let, let's 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 examine this at the time we were forced to do business with our own mm, because yeah. of right. uh segregation come yeah, on, absolutely right? come on. and yeah. so so let me ask you this question uh -huh. come on did desegregation hurt or harm the black community now, that's a really great question. Yes, sir. And that's I a, that's a whole program. Yes, that's sir. a whole yeah. program in of itself, right. Antonio. Mm -hmm. I, think in, I, think in, I think in a lot of ways it did hurt. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Because it, 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 it hurt black businesses that we're talking about mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, not all of them. I right. mean, you certainly, you got a lot of funeral homes that do quite well uh, yeah. and, and insurance companies. Well, that, that might be the wrong business to, to <laughs> applaud. That's doing, well, that's true. Like, I agree doing, with that. They're doing well for that. a reason. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I think in some respects, uh, desegregation did uh, hurt black businesses, but it, but look, it also hurt uh, black educational institutions. I oh, think yeah. it hurt yes. black HBCUs. Mm -hmm. I mean, my old, I'm the youngest of seven. And my older brothers and sisters, five of them, were not allowed to go to white schools. I did. I went to Ole Miss. But they weren't allowed to go to Ole Miss when they came along. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they went to, uh, um, that was a college that doesn't even exist anymore, mm -hmm. Mississippi Industrial College in Holly Springs. Oh, right. It's now yeah, part of Russ College, college okay. now. Mm -hmm. um, but it dissolved because when, mm -hmm. white, when black folks could go to the white colleges, it hurt those historical black colleges. Yeah. So yeah, it, it. I think in a lot of ways, desegregation hurt some businesses because now white folk, black folks thought, well, I'm gonna go over to the white person. Get You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. 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 But I, I, you know, I'm visual, and so I, I see this as a situation. You know, you got you got our, our, these, these white folks in the country club and. And you know you got the smart, quiet one who 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 got a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You just sitting back, listening to everybody else just banter, right? And then you got the 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 idiot of the bunch who's doing the most talking. Mm -hmm. And it's like you can't let these n words, you know, bring come over and 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 you know, 
and and sit at our counters and this that and other right mm-hmm. and and the quiet rich one one from wealth smart one says sitting back listening not saying anything then he finally says Bubba shut the fuck up <laughs> right he said let them come because when they come they bring their money and they bring and they bring their resources mm-hmm. let them come I think that's a good point and 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 I think and, that's and, a good and, point. and 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 you know because it, you know one thing I've learned in being a legislature you know it just opens your eyes to so much stuff is that you know popular opinion and policy is always built around somebody receiving some financial benefit in the end. Mm-hmm. It ain't right. never an accident. It's never an accident. And, it, and it's always orchestrated in most cases, mm-hmm. right? With, with somebody mm-hmm. or one individual or somebody's that's going to, that's going to make a windfall of money because they changed something. I think mm-hmm. that's absolutely true. <clears throat> yeah. Let me say one other quick thing. Man, take some time. Go ahead. Um, and this is, part, you will appreciate this because this is, this gets into raw politics mm-hmm. here. You have to remember that uh, in the early part of the 20th century, most black folks were Republicans. That's right. Um, one of the most influential black Memphians ever, Lieutenant George W. Lee, mm-hmm. was a Republican. Mm. Uh, Robert Church was yeah. a Republican. But but tell you got to qualify I, why. And I'm right, getting right, right, right. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Ben Hooks, really. Right. Associated with Republicans, right? And they did that because they were they were called Lincoln Republicans, That's right? Mm-hmm. Because they they saw Lincoln as the one who emancipated them, and so that carried on for years mm-hmm. after Lincoln's assassination, in eighteen sixty five. It it went on and on and on. Right. All right. But in the, in the nineteen sixties, that's right, or actually late fifties, mm-hmm. um, when. The Republican Party locally, mm-hmm. run by George W. Lee, mm-hmm. um, they weren't doing what some young, very young Republicans wanted to have done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so they took the party away from George W. Lee. Mm-hmm. I'm talking I about people like Louis Donaldson, mm-hmm. uh, Bob James, who was on the city council, mm-hmm. Harry Welford, who became a federal judge. Mm-hmm. They basically mm-hmm. took the party away from George W. Lee because they wanted a more competitive Republicans wasn't mm-hmm. getting elected anything back then. Mm-hmm. And so they flipped the script and people who had been Republicans became Democrats. Dixocrats. Dixocrats. Mm-hmm. And yes. people who were Democrats, Dixocrats became and Republicans. Republicans. And yes. that's how the thing flipped. And that's where it is today. And that's where it is today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So don't, Sometimes you hear you hear people say, "Well, look at what the Democratic Party did to y'all back, back then." In, right. Well, it you wasn't the same it. Democratic right. Party. Right. These were dick, this. These were people. I'm from Mississippi. Right. These were senators Bilbo and Eastland and Stennis in Mississippi, who were they? They had Democratic label, but they were Dixocrats and racists. Right. Right. And when they flipped the script with the 64, when Johnson gave us the Voting Rights Act and the mm-hmm. Civil Rights Act. Which he didn't want to do. Which he didn't want to do. He did but not want to do. He had right. to do it. He right. had to right. do it. Right, right, right. He knew it was right. Right, right. He had a good bone he, in his right. body. He had, he had, he had to he do did. it. I don't know about the good bone, but he well, had to do it. Well, I don't know that forced him to, you know, politics <laughs> forced Lincoln to, to sign the emancipation. Right. Lincoln said, hey, look, I can live with slavery. Right. And so did everybody know. I can live without slavery, too. Right. But I want to keep the union together. Right. That's what he did. Yes, that's right. And I think Johnson did. Yeah. a lot of that too yeah. but but Johnson after the Edmund Pettus Bridge mm-hmm. incident mm-hmm. Johnson had a change of heart mm-hmm. he said no we can't be treating people like this right. and so mm-hmm. we gotta pass the Voting Rights Act well right. all that did was flip the script mm-hmm. turn Democrat Dixocrats into Republicans mm-hmm. right. and turn black but, Republicans into Democrats. Democrats right that's Which in the is book. What we got today. And That's in the book. book. That's good yeah. stuff, man. I got full history lesson. That is right. good stuff, wow. man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So look, we are not going to go into an hour and a half show today, <laughs> but but man, Otis Sanford, man, you got to come back on the show, man, he because did. you are absolutely amazing, man. People, yeah. I think people sleep on you. Seriously. Well, <laughs> the fact that you can tell Clark but, but I think speaks right. right. Okay. But and Doug, I think it's his fault because he's not really. He, you hold all of this knowledge, man. All man, get this shit out, man. We need, we need you to get this shit <laughs> well, out. Well, I'll try. Right, try. right, right. I'll try. But but you are you are. I, 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 and I tell folks, and I and I only tell the people that that deserve this, uh, Angelica and Kojak. You know, we we have such talented people in our city, and a lot of times we, we just don't even know who we're standing next yeah. to, or who we sit next mm. to. 
Yeah, man. But this is amazing, man. Yeah, hey, y'all, from Boss Crump to King Willie, make sure you go out and get it. Go out and get it today. Yes. And, and, and how can they get it? And how can they get in touch with you? Well, they can get it easily mm-hmm. with, with bookstores. Okay. Uh, there's novel bookstore, mm-hmm. um, um, all the major yeah. bookstores. Okay. Amazon. Well, I heard it Amazon, said major bookstores. I heard that, right? Major. Yeah, yeah you heard okay. that. Did you hear him? Yeah, yeah. I heard oh, he's yeah. major. I don't yeah. know if they're at the minor. We got to slide it in. I don't major. know they have to do that. It's okay. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, look. Right. But most yeah. people, but most people go to Amazon. Yeah. It's on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, again, it, it it has done very well. Well, that's, that is awesome, man. Y'all give it up for Otis Sanford in the building. Yeah, man. Yes. This is Memphis Mayor Paul Young, and you are watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Project, 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 project. Powered by Black Market Strategies. 